Hey everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite. Uh, just catching up on some time trial. So, uh, funny thing happened actually, and it's not that funny because it's it's becoming habitual. Um, there are two items that on my main account are really preventing me from seeking out the uh, the martial spirits and um, working on the items that I have. And those two items are the Extreme Magic Bow for Assassin builds. But the second item that I'm really looking forward to getting is the Bloodborne Armor. And I just personally think it's one of the best armors that a tank can have because it gives you damage reduction. So wouldn't you know it today, on my alt account, <laughs> I pulled the, the Bloodborne Magic Armor. And this is like a few days after I pulled the Extreme Magic Bow, which is just just kind of frustrating because I mean I have not spent any resources on this account pulling for items um, I just got the extreme magic bow from a dragon run and it was like a level 50 dragon run on top of that and the bloodborne magic armor I just picked up um, let's see oh yeah it was from it was from one of the uh, one of the levels, the map, uh, the map levels that yield SR items, and wouldn't you know it, I got an SSR to drop, and it was the Bloodborne armor. Um, Landius has it equipped right now, and um, I don't have a Lewis battle armor on this account. The one that is good against like ranged attacks, or that would be the second armor that I would have. Um, for my Landius. But this armor works really well because if I want to take Landius to a map where I know he's going to be getting attacked with physical attacks, uh, that Blad the Bloodborne, Bloodborne, the Bloodborne armor is absolutely amazing because it can give me damage reduction to those attacks, which goes a really long way with, well, any tank at all. So I'm excited about that. Um, and it's just kind of funny because this account is filling out great. Um, I can already start just getting epic martial gloves, working on the Bloodborne armor. Um, let's see, there's a couple of them. The Apex boots, that Bloodborne armor, number one right now is the Extreme Magic Bow. We're going to get that leveled up first. Um, and on my main account, I guess I'm just going to keep <clears throat> trying to gamble for items with my ore until... You know, I get some of these items, and then I can just start trying to cash out on them. <clears throat> the other funny thing is, I pulled Shellfish Girl Cellophane on this account, and I was excited. Um, the only problem I ran into, and this is kind of funny because it actually ended up helping me in the long run. I'll just tell you guys about it real quick. Uh... I pulled cellophane and then when I went into the bonds to actually bond her out, I realized that to have her top tier build and to have her fully bonded out, you need her sister Angelica. And I don't have Angelica and I was like, great, this is supposed to be the hard hitting mage for this account. And I obviously can't get her to full potential unless I have her stupid sister that I don't really need because I have Luna. Um, but I said, you know what? Whatever, what the hell? We'll we'll try to pull her sister. And, you know, this is... I don't know why this isn't running right. I gotta reset the game. But I said, we'll try to pull her sister. And I threw four tickets and SSR came down. And it was Cher. Alright? And for everybody out there that got Cher for free, congratulations. Truth be told, even though I was trying to pull Angelina to unlock Cellophane's full potential, when I saw that I got Cher, guys, I was not disappointed. Cher is one of the heaviest hitters in the game, and this is where I got to give this game props. Um, even if you don't have Leon, and you started this game when it launched, they gave you Cher. She's like a mini Leon with wings. Okay, might as well be Leon's little sister is share and she can attack twice and there's so much she can do so i'm not upset about pulling a share even though i had to pull mine fair and share uh, and everybody else just got to unlock her from the event when this game launched but share can have such a high attack and she can be so deadly and she's also uh princess fusion 
And that works well for me because I could potentially run her with Luna and I could still have Joshua in there banking off of their fusion and doing all of his nasty stuff. So that's kind of cool. And then I was like, you know what? It only took me four tickets. Let's try to get another SSR. And sure enough, today, I think I did about 12 pulls. And yeah, another SSR came down and it was cellophane again. So, hey, I got cellophane to a four star. Um, that's cool because really for cellophane to shine, you do have to star her up. Even right now, I'm going to be trying to bond the hell out of her because when she stars up, her cooldowns go down. Um, the, the amount that her talent clocks and takes away from your cooldown abilities increases. And what, that's what I love about Cellophane is her talent is so much better than clock. Um, her talent procs every single time you use a damage abil ability, period. Clock only has a percentage chance of procking, and I've noticed this with Lana. Either right off rip, I'm going to use one of my awesome abilities and clock's going to kick in and Lana's just going to be a beast that fight, or it's going to be kind of vanilla. She's just going to use that ability, clock's not going to proc, and now I have to wait five turns to get my AoE back. With Cellophane, that's never the problem, and you can always use your runestone set to increase your magical damage instead of... Um, you know, using it to put clock on a character. So I absolutely love cellophane. What I'm going to do is I will wait for a focus banner to come back with both of the sisters, and it will, okay? It will, it will come back, and it'll be both of the sisters on there. Um, and I'll pull on that focus banner just to get Angelina. So I'm hoping that cellophane is just going to have to be good enough right now without all of her bonds. Um, the other character you need to unlock Cellophane's Bond is Almeta, and everybody has her, so that's no big deal. But, yeah, in order to get Cellophane to her fullest, you do need her sister. Um, so, and I'm sure there might be some other characters out there where you need Cher to unlock their full potential, so that's cool too now. I have Cher. Uh, I don't know how much, I mean, I have a lot of the good gear for a Cher. Um, I have a couple peacemakers that acts that um, works really well for her. So I'm going to have to see. I definitely will set Cher up. She's just such a good, strong, viable character. And if you don't have a Leon, like I said, she can run around with, you know, 15, 16, 1700 attack. And she can also uh, go twice in one turn. Hell, hell, if you got Liana there, she can go three times in one turn. So... Um, this account has definitely been getting caught up to, uh, to the power meta over the past day or two, which is just extremely awesome. So, uh, I'm going to be hopping on my main though and trying to see what we can do there. Um, especially because I don't know, everything's kind of laggy on here right now and I don't know what the deal is. Oh, and there's our share. She's at level 36. Uh, literally have no equipment on her whatsoever yet so uh, I'm gonna work on her I'm gonna get some items on her and then I'm gonna do a video covering the top five for my alt account and you can see them up here Luna uh, Landius uh, Lanford they're all here we'll go over my top five and just where my alt account is it's it's at about like I don't know, all these characters are right under 4,000 power level. Now, I think that's pretty good for an account that is a little over a month old. All right? So, and no, this isn't a, a totally free-to-play account. Um, it was fully free-to-play up until we had to pull Landius, and I pulled 13 Rachel in a row. That was the only time I sank money into this account. Um, but I'm not upset about it because it... It tied in a whole faction for me. If I didn't have Landius, I couldn't really be using any of these characters together that I actually want to use. So, really no buyer's remorse there. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm happy about how strong this alt account is. It's getting up to level 60, and then it's going to be a big benefit um, to my main account. Because this account is going to supplement my main account. Um, I pretty much can run myself through anything I want and always get the bonuses for having another guild member there and having another uh, 
person off your friends list there. All those little bonuses add up and those extra items that you get for each fight, they add up, especially when you're clearing high end content. All right. When you take 40 minutes out of your day to kill a level 65 dragon, yeah, you're going to want to get every single drop you can from him and getting two extra drops because you brought a friend and you brought a guild member with you. One of those slots could end up being an SSR item, okay? And in the grand scheme of things, that adds up because that is every single battle that you run. So if anybody is like really trying to take their Langrisser game to the next level, I do suggest an alt account. They work well, you're always gonna get those bonuses and it's really easy to, to, to power creep your alt account up when you have a main account to run you through everything. So um, my main account was nowhere near this power level after I played for a month. So, you know, it's like hitting the fast forward button times three. So if anybody out there wants to step up their Langrisser game, hey, rolling an alt account might not be a bad idea, especially right now while we have limited banners up. So um, this is where this account's at. I'm not going to pull for... Angelica, Angelina, because I just don't feel like I'm going to get her. I've already pulled three SSRs off this banner, two cellophane and one share. Like I said, I'm going to wait for... Cellophane's just going to have to be good enough until um, I can get an Angelina from a focus banner. I'm not going to like exert myself to pull anything else off of this banner. We do have a limited banner right around the corner, and it's got some gnarly-ass characters on it. Okay, and I already have Joshua on this account, and I have um, Estelle, so I'm better off just saving my 2,000 crystal, you know, and at least throwing it on that. I might have some tickets on here, too. I didn't really check. So that's that's where we're at. Um, I'm also going to be doing some time rift on this all. I have a lot of crystals I can still grind out. So by the time this limited banner drops, oh, there's my buddy Ivan. I gotta help him out. Russian pride. Uh, by the time, by the time this limited banner drops, this account should have about four thousand crystal to throw at it. So I'll see if I can get any of the limited goodies, um, even on this account. Now on my main account, we're sitting pretty at about seven, eight thousand crystal, and we got some tickets. So. I'm really gonna be trying to pull the new characters on my main account, that is my collection account. This account is all just about having a faction that I wanna play with. Because even though I have all these characters on my main account, I can't play with them because I can't take the time to invest into them and power them up. Um, why would I when I already have a bunch of characters that are over 5,000 power level that I should be working on those characters for for clearing content so that's where we're at that's what your boy is doing um, you know quick video just checking in with you guys and letting you know how things are going I hope everybody gets lucky as hell today and um, pull some of the stuff that they they really need for their accounts all right you guys got any any questions anything at all vlad's one click away have a nice day mobile gamers unite i'm out